Hey, welcome back to the channel. We've got a plan to get John Marsden back. Uh, me and Sadie come up with a plan how to get John back just on Genevieve heading back to camp. We're gonna wait while he's in the field doing his work detail and we are gonna basically spring him in the field. So let's get to it. Yeah, I don't know why we're still here after all that. Let's come to what Dutch has got to say. Starting to wish we'd stayed on Guam. I didn't leave them here, Morgan. I swear it. Good to see you again, Uncle. So, Molly ain't around? No, not for a while now. You boys sure returned with a bang. And we always seem to these days. Gonna sleep to noon, get some sleep and energy. Always something, Arthur. <sighs> it's good to see you again, despite the circumstances. You too. But what do we do now? We need to move. As soon as possible. We've got a couple of days. Good to see you again, Karen. Where's Molly, by the way? Nobody's seen her in ages. Good riddance, I say. Huh. Okay. Well, Molly's okay. Everyone's asking about Molly. All right, where's Dutch? You better have a damn good plan this turn. White to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black. To G6, knight. To F3, white. To D4, black. To F5, playing chess, I don't. You okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well... I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in surviving than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What's our move here? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I, know, I, I asked him. you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we going to run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. Mm. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. You're getting well paranoid. Why does he keep thinking with traitors or betraying him or something?
Charles okay? Charles. Will you ride with me? Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Doing some heavy artillery. I understand. Yep. At least Charles is with us. We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. That doesn't sound promising. Another way. Follow me. We need to get this it's done fast. Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. Yeah. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Uh. Yeah, yeah a boat's good. probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. Yeah, you too. Thanks for what you did in Saint Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed his ass. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Ah, uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway. I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Mm, perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh, guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. Yeah, I miss Hosea too. Even Miss Sean. There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Yep. Well, there's one. Well, I see one anyway, and that'll do. Come on! Which <laughs> way? Okay. Butcher Creek is a few miles upriver. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rain's Fall and Eagle Flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! 
Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. I remember rightly, these are all inbred people and some dodgy shit going on around here. <laughs> this is not a good That's place. Butcher Creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. Yeah, these locals are the Murphys. Alright, let's walk it from here. trying to find a spot called Beaver Hollow. We don't take kindly to outsiders around here. Come on, they're not gonna help us. Yeah, ignore I'm pretty them. sure it's to the north, up the road here. No. These Murphy Hills, stranger. Might watch where you wander. Them if we get him back by morning. Come on! Good idea, Charles. Yeah! You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Manisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Shit. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No. But I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. See that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I don't see nothing. Oh, there we go. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. One see minute. where they're going. Follow me and stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. I would follow this man through hell and back. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one. I take one, you take the other. Yeah, another deal. I'll take the other. 
Because I do the skinning. Well, how about I do the skinning? Then what are you waiting for? Good job. <laughs> Is that Charles's tomahawk? So you don't want it? Oh, a loot. Oh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What do you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. I like the sound of the dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Jesus. It's like the forest with okay. the effigies. Get in a bit closer and then throw it into the cave. Looks like it's on there, Charles! <laughs> Here they come! Gotta blow your goddamn brains then! Oh, who the fuck are these? Let's get in there! Jesus, these look horrible. Let's blow them cocksuckers! Okay, Arthur! You were wrong about these crazy sons of bitches! Holy shit, Charles. We will just fight. Where are you from? Andersburg. What do we do with her? 
take her there, and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Oh, come on. Let me get you home. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 Um... It's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Why would they? <laughs> Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. the main street it'll be easier to walk from there seen some posters how to make you nervous well you're home girl safe now yes oh oh thank god which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mama. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy brood guys. Oh, my God. How did you manage well, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Nah, no, we don't need it. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. <sighs> this is death. Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. <laughs> Took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? 
Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my... Calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. Are any of your stooges? Calm yourself, you don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery. And I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, She's shoot me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me! Oh, you betrayed so me! What? Just calm down. Arthur? Ah. She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Hurry, Your Majesty! You put her. Miss Grimshaw? Why? She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you! Quit your lollygagging! Right. Get back to work! Yeah. So that's what happens to a rat? We're getting worse. Half is getting a lot worse. You're a nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw. A nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that beady look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour faced hey, old Uncle. crow. God damn you. Murderer. How are you, Cole? I oh, feel like a horse ran over me. <laughs> I feel sorry for Uncle. Where's he can rend up? So you think... You think Dutch has lost his mind, Arthur? I don't know anymore. I'm not sure I even care. Well, Micah... Micah says you've been saying crazy things about him. Micah. <laughs> He's a shit stirrer. Keep an eye out for Micah, Bill. He says a whole lot. Let's see what Miss Grimshaw... How are you feeling about Molly? I'm feeling she got exactly what she deserved. That's what I figured. Hmm. I mean, I know she turned Molly turned out to be a let's rat. Let's hope for a better day. Yeah, let's hope for a better You're okay? day. Okay. What is happening to us? Just make this place work, Pearson. For now. Let's see how Mary Beth is. How you doing? Poor Molly. I don't believe it. Oh, she knew the rules. <sighs> we need to get John. Where's Genevieve? Oh. Hey, 
<laughs> Good girl. Okay, we're gonna go and see Sadie and get out of here. This is depressing. Okay, we're nearly at Sadie now. I think we, me and Sadie are gonna go and get John out of jail. I feel like this really needs to be done and I can't believe Dutch won't help. I don't, I'm, I'm starting to lose a lot of faith in Dutch right now, to be honest. Yeah. your husband, but it's gonna be... I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sore, but I'm real grateful. We know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, let's get this idiot. I, I really like John. By I trust him. She hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. How many times, Marshal? Okay, bring us over. We good? Uh -huh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. There's only one gun I need for that. There's a guard up there. I'll deal with him. I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Ah, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay. Yeah, that's 100% John. Let's go and get our boy. Shit. I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay. What? Come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Yeah, run, boys. You're free. Come on, say that. <laughs> I love her. Uh, Come on, Arthur. So Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> Mister. You know John Marsden? I. He ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. It's Sadie. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Oh, 
Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Now, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Come on, please. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Mm -hmm. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. We better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Shut up! Shit. No. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's inside, Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, so? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, Faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, hurry up. 18, well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. <laughs> and over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey. Hey. John. Hello, you too. Is that... That's John. Now, no yeah, John. Well, Mr. Milliken here yes. stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Let's <laughs> it! Get out of here. Thank you.
shit, I'm missing. Get out of here. Come on, John. I've got one. We need Come on, let's just go. I need rescue, Nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You. You're a better shot. Right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off. <laughs> right. You're done. Give me this. One roll past this, ain't it? Yeah, we got John. We got John back. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about... The... the money? Lost oh, somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm and... We ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait. You're gonna have to tell me all this again. 
It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Grids and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... You might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! Oh, what was your fucking plan, John? Judge? John, you are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. <laughs> this gang is splitting into two now. Away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Hi, Uncle. Howdy! Hello! Problem is, I ain't sure he cares who he's fighting no more. Can't kill everyone. So, now what are the pair of you scheming about Arthur. now, huh? You goddamn traitors. You, you were nothing but a street off, rat Bill. when he found you. He believed in you when no other son of a bitch would. Huh? And him? You um, what's ain't you? been nothing but a apple from the start. You ain't even been with us a full year, and you think you know better. I'll listen to your words of wisdom. As soon as I'm shown some evidence, there's a brain inside your head. Charles would cut you in half right now if he wanted to. I'd be careful. Okay. <laughs> you know, you'll get what's coming to you.
Can I say hello to him? He's too dumb to see it for how it is. Um, He's loyal. I'll give him that. Loyal and stupid. Who else can we say hello to? Well, at least he's back. Thank you for getting him out, Arthur. Of course, someone had to. <coughs> you okay, friend? Never better. Dutch! You're breaking his heart. You know that. Did he tell you, you say to say this to me, friend? No. But I know. Dutch and that fool at his ear. They're gonna kill every last one of us. I see that now. Javier? Things are gonna be okay, Jack. Can I go play in the caves? No. I ain't safe in there. Hey, Reverend. Running a fever? Too cold to dress like that. No, it's much worse than a fever. <sighs> Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. How are you? About, about how I look. Okay. Are you, um, are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind, I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... The debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. I don't even know why I went to him. Hate working for him. Falling apart. What are we gonna do, Arthur? Mm, just hang in there, okay? Uh huh. I feel sorry for Uncle. Hello. Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <coughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, I'm, I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. 
Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. Okay, let's go see Mike Bell. He wants us. Mike Bell. I hate this guy, but we've got to go and see him. I think I should go to the gun shop first. It's Mike Bell. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Thank you. All right, let's go and see what this fool wants. Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. <laughs> we don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the wheat go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If it's with Micah, it's not simple social call. So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil. His law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. This don't feel right. Cornwall's boat is arriving at dawn. We'll wait it out here. Get down behind these crates so no one sees us. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable Shit. fortune with your agency, and still nothing. What's he doing here? Miss Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best, 
I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. <laughs> the law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, what Mr. Cornwall. The... What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Noise, man! Noise, Arthur! No boys! Tins. What the hell have you done, Dutch? <laughs> I found something interesting. Pity it didn't kill him, innit? Put a bullet in that bastard! You're in trouble now! Arthur, come on! Cornwall's men are all over the place! Follow me! And stay close! Fuck off, my god. Fucking killed more than you, my god. You said this wasn't a revenge mission. It wasn't. We got what we came for. Those papers. What about the boat? Through here. Shit, that's a lot. 
Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew, sooner or later, Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. You just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Micah, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Dead.
Been shot. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. OK. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them just is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Shit. What well, hell? seeing as I'm here, may as well protect the payment. Shit, all these supplies are on fire. It's all right, my darling. You can come out. Oh, crap. I probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Go. Get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. I don't know where we can go, but I'll try. Pray for us. We're past praying, boy. Oh, just for the record, I didn't want to accept that, but I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, God, I feel really bad. I hate working for this fucking Strauss. I feel bad every time I do a job for him. Yeah. Right, there's a stranger over here. Let's go and see who that is. Can you help? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. <laughs> His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Yeah, let's go and find his horse. He's got no leg. Um, where's my horse? Hey there, girl. Let's go. There's his horse, it's right there. 
would have been easier just to put him on our horse and take him over, but okay. There he is. His leg's still in the stirrup. Oh, God. Easy! Shit, <laughs> spooked all right. Mr. Arthur, you're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick oh. for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. Ouch. Young boy went into battle with me. Got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard, I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. <laughs> oh, what a nice little old fella. Amish. Yeah. Alright, let's get back to this last thing for Strauss. I want to get these out of the way. Yeah, so we got to go and see yeah. Mike Bell again, Ugh. and Reverend Swanson. That'll be interesting. Let's see what Reverend Swanson wants. But first, we got to do these debts while we're down. really freaked me out. Did I just really see that? I thought that was a real train. 
I really scared me. Okay, we're gonna go to uh, Annersburg and see this last death for Strauss and we're gonna try and make sure he keeps the money. I'm sick of collecting debt for that fool. Hey, uh, can I help you? We're trying to you know find gold here. Find Arthur Londonderry? Arthur Londonderry? I think you're going to want to speak with the foreman. Head way down there towards the coalface. Arthur London there. Is he here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> The man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Hmm. Neither are we anymore. like you could use a hand. Oh, please. Please help me. I'm, I'm losing blood. Oh, please, save me. Mm. Keep pulling. I can feel it getting looser. Oh, shit. Oh, my leg. Oh, what, what have you done? That's... I tried to help. I, I tried to help. Oh, I got bad on her. Shit. I tried to hey help. There, I swear girl. I tried to help. I didn't know I had to take over and yeah. pry it open. Everybody we try to help seems to get dead. Everyone we try to help dies, you know? Arthur's <coughs> dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. Ah, oh, he's like little Jack. <laughs> 
It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies, what little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister! We're gonna help. Uh, I just wanted to say the debt's canceled and to you know, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Why? Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Confront Strauss. Oh, yeah. I want to fucking talk to that son of a bitch. Whoa, girl, easy. Who's there? It's me, Arthur. Welcome back, Arthur. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just standing. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Getting rid of you, you time-wasting maggot. I... Get your bag. I don't understand. Just I... get out of my sight. You waste my time, you depress me, and you're a parasite. Yeah, I should do. You're an embarrassment. What are you doing? We were partners. Yeah. Business partners. Go get a new partner. You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was... I was your comrade. My comrade? <laughs> you're a creep. A creep and a parasite and a time waster. Now, take that. Take that, and don't annoy me. I'm leaving. Wow, that was so good to watch. We really kicked him out. We should have done that a long time ago. We should have done that like... Morning. After the first time I worked for him, I... I Oh, he was literally ruining people's lives and getting us to do that for him just to make money. He did not belong here. Arthur! Susan? Someone smashed the box! What box? The money box! We'd had that for so many years! Why did they smash? Well, I don't know. Look at this place! All divided, everyone anxious and at each other's throats. 
I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. Me too. How are you holding up, considering? I'm doing decent, I guess. <clears throat> It's over. Perhaps not, Mr. Pearson. What a mess we made of everything. What a sad mess. <sighs> Still, I got a friend right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mr. And Pearson. And I got plenty more. <laughs> Even Mr. Pearson's drinking. Another damn morning. Alright, we're gonna go and talk to Rain's Fall. Trying to rob a sick man? I was trying to help. <laughs> Bullshit, you was. I hope you move fancy boots. Unlike you, I was honorable. Oh. Lousy bastards. I was actually trying to help. <laughs> well, we were passing, but we'll see him while we're here. Wow, he's got a beautiful horse. <clears throat> Amish! Arthur! Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Over there. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. Now I hear you can buy him in a shot. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. 
Getting him with something shop bought? Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Nothing's biting. Oh, Bamish. Whoa, what's this? You got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on, now, Tyrant. I got you. I got you. Come on. Holy shit. I oh my god, where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Quick, stay there. The boat. I'm thrown out to you. Real quick. Bastard just bumped me. Hey, come on up here. He's still got his leg. You lost anything? Uh, just my rod. Uh, we got my toes too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. Oh, he wants us to carry on. Oh, roll over there. Okay. We'll come at him from the other way. Roll over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Pass back to where we were, right, we got and make lure. sure to use that lure I gave you. That's way over there. You can speed that up a little. Shit. Ah. Shit. We got him. Ooh, that's it. He's a big one. Let's land the Come on, bastard. Reel in, reel in. Hey, Mish, I got this. Bring it in now. Shit. Stand steady. Come on, big boy. Got him. Got him. Come on. Really? Yes. yes. Got him. Holder. 
Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors, then. He sure was something, huh? <sighs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. On me. Okay. Back to what we were doing. Onward to equal flies. She had to go. It's bad, but... Dilly, I do believe you got a cold heart. Uh, let me just go and see what one. Reverend Swanson. You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, oh, sir. Morphine. Oh, morphine. Reverend Swanson, oh, would you excuse Dutch. us a minute? Of Reverend course. Swanson was on morphine. Oh, all right. New York? We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, no, Arthur? You fucking look all right. Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Uh... I pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people. We've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No. You're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Now, 
Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise. And faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. To kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. Mm. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. <laughs> Not this again. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Let's head out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor and float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Subdue the soldiers. Get away! Boys, go find out about those horses! 
Bridge down below. Arthur, deal with that anchor. Uh... You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up then. Hurry! Go up, uh... Anything, right? What is wrong with you? <laughs> the boys all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. The boys, get him out of here! Oh, go! On. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. We the horses are confused. Right. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Over here, come on. Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur will... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out of Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Yeah, well, I'll... Sure. Oh. I'll speak I with him. Charles. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's... I understand. Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> 